Okay guys, so we know that topical map is the best way to rank your new website and we already validated the topical map website. Now let's talk about how to implement topical map on your website with practical step. So first of all, you need to organize the content by pillar and clusters. So we already generated the topical map using chat GPT and we already refined it. Everything what we do, we're gonna add this in spreadsheet. For example, we added this pillar content. So what we're gonna do, once this post is published, we're gonna type the URL for this post and then for the content cluster, we're gonna go to the slide here and, and then you add the url here for the cluster content this is just the example you feel free to use how you want just keep things organized so what we're going to do is pillar content gonna be a big comprehensive guide on a core topic for example digital marketing for beginners this is going to be at least 2000 because make sure this very detailed block and then cluster content will be supporting articles that go deeper into subtopics for example how to run facebook ads email marketing tools for beginners seo basic this is like the pillar content this is the cluster content this is going to be like from 800 to 1000 words so best practically is links back to pillar content. So when you have this kind of strategy, you have all this URL sales. Whenever you're writing the cluster content, you can pick the URL from here and you can add those naturally in the cluster content. When you're writing cluster content, you can take this link, you can add into pillar content. So by organizing all the topical map in a spreadsheet, it makes things very, very easy for you. Okay, the second tip will be to build site structure. You can implement topical map in your site hierarchy. For example, main category page will be pillar articles and subcategory of blog post could be cluster articles. For example, like you have a category which is called digital marketing which will be pillar content and you can create a URL we will talk about very detail in digital marketing then you can create subtopics or a cluster content for example digital marketing slash SEO basic which could be a cluster content for the main pillar content and then Facebook ads guides cluster content and then email marketing tools this is also cluster content for the main content so you can use categories as the pillar content and then you can use the blog post or subcategories as the cluster content in these create silos where all reading content reinforce each other and it's really really important third tip would be internal linking strategy every cluster article should link up to pillar page contextual plus exact keyword guide and guys make sure whatever you're doing it makes sense do not force them to link to each other link across relevant cluster natural connection and also pillar page should link down to cluster content we already talked about it this creates a strong semantic network that signal topic authority to google and you can also link this pillar and cluster content to different kind of pillar cluster if that makes sense if it's natural fourth you will navigation ux add a topical hub page pillar to your main menu or sidebar you, we already see on this website you can see they have the popular categories here which is also pillar content so make sure you're adding the pillar content in the main, main menu and sidebar you can see we have sidebar and also main menu they are adding all the pillar content or at least the categories the top level categories for your website do not worry too much about it guys once you start creating topical map of the website all these things will become very easy for you because the implementation comes after once you create the topical map of website and trust me the more you will work on this it will become easy and easy every day and also you can use breadcrumbs so user and search engine understand the hierarchy for example like home and then breadcrumbs in digital marketing and then seo basics so guys make sure you have the proper breadcrumbs on your website by default it comes with all the themes but make sure you enable this option to have the breadcrumbs on your website fifth tip would be content calendar publishing do not try to publish everything at once instead what you can do because this is the most asked question a lot of people ask how to write the content should i write pillar first or should i write cluster first so what you can do you can launch a pillar page first even if it's not 100 percent finished you can launch the pillar content first then publish cluster content like two or four per week or per month depending on your schedule and update the pillar to link the new cluster content and they are added this way your pillar grows stronger over time a lot of people are confused about it so the summary is create pillar content first start writing it and then write the cluster content couple of cluster content every week or every month and, and with the time interlink them to each other six is monitor adjust guys it's really really important that you monitor the results and then adjust the strategy so track performance with google search console see which cluster brings impression link them more with prominently to strength the pillar identify the keyword cannibalization where two cluster targeting the same keyword and merge them if needed so guys this whole new topic about keyword cannibalization because because topic authority might be dangerous if you're not doing it properly because sometimes people confuse topic authority with keyword cannibalization without a strategy people write a lot of content on the same topic and that becomes keyword cannibalization so make sure you're monitoring everything and then adjust the strategy 
There's so many videos on my channel about this. You can check the link in description about the relevant videos. And guys, the last and very important tip is refresh old content every six to months to keep it ranking or as required if there's an update. And this is where the interest comes. So if you're somebody who is creating the blog website about what you are interested in, you will know what's happening in the domain. So whenever you are creating new content or something new is happening, you can go to the relevant article because you created it, you have interest in it. You can go and update it whenever the new update is coming. For somebody who is copy pasting from ChatGPT, they have no idea what's happening on the website. They could never do this properly. So that's why I advise everybody that please create a blog or a website which you are interested in or have the hold or knowledge about your website or your blog. Hope these seven tips about topic authority was useful for you. If I missed any tip about topic authority, please comment below. I'll really appreciate that. It will really help other people also to know about topic authority. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll really appreciate that. And watch this step-by-step -step video to improve EAT of your website.